What's going on everybody? This is DK Dynamite and today we're gonna be talking about the mastery camels in Modern Warfare 2 that just surfaced, the early start to the CDL season and the preload for PC. Definitely stay tuned. But before we jump into that, be sure to hit that subscribe button down below, drop a like, and make sure you have notifications on to stay up to date with everything going on in Modern Warfare 2, Warzone 2, Warzone Mobile, and any other future Call of Duty as well. As a huge reminder, you can now preload the Modern Warfare 2 beta on Xbox and PC for those out there that redeemed using a code. The open access period for Xbox and PC without a code won't be in another couple of days as you can see here on the official beta schedule but a few questions also got answered by the call of duty team earlier today xbox and pc digital pre-orders do not need a code you could download the beta straight from the stores physical retail pre-orders or if you redeem the code from someone that can be found on the cod website as a link down below in this video's description also ps players do not need a code for weekend two at all whatsoever even when the early access window does begin for xbox and pc that'll be open the entire time for ps Four and even PS5. But earlier today, after the preload went out for Xbox and PC, people on Xbox have managed to get into the Modern Warfare 2 local multiplayer menu, and I started posting screenshots from it revealing CDL multiplayer modes, weapon mastery camos, and more. So the first thing we'll talk about is, of course, the camos. It's already confirmed that these are placeholders from MW19, but I would not be surprised if some of them from MW19 do get reworked a little bit, and very similar versions of those camos do make their appearance in MW2. Would not be surprised about that, but I really don't expect them to just throw in Damascus or Obsidian in the same way we saw in 2019 as the Mastery Camels for MW2. Now, I also hope that we get a Mastery Camel at launch. I do hope that maybe DMZ or something can get a separate mode that you can grind for. I do hope the DMZ can get a separate camel that you can grind for, and then maybe deeper into the cycle, or if there is a second year of support for this game, we do get an additional mastery camel added later in the life cycle. Now, what I will say though, is it's likely that we're only gonna get one mastery camel when the game does come out, and then if we're gonna get a second one, it won't be for a little while, but considering there is no zombies mode in MW2, but we have DMZ, I do think there is room to add in an extra mastery camel for people out there that maybe don't play multiplayer, or wanna get a different mastery camel unlocked later in the year. Now, I do think it's interesting how many people out there have used unlock tools to be able and equip Cold War Mastery Camos on Modern Warfare Weaponry, which you'll see in 2019 Multiplayer and Warzone 1. It's hilarious, but it shows you just how many people liked all the camos from Cold War. I think, if anything, the way I'd rank the Mastery Camos from the community's perspective is Cold War, MW19, then Vanguard. I mean, Atomic also looks great from Vanguard, so if we get a nice blend of Atomic and Damascus or something even crazier, like the Mastery Camo we had in MW1 remastered a couple of years ago. I'll take that any day here in MW2 multiplayer, which I'm really looking forward to. But like I said earlier in the video, there's a lot of potential to maybe launch the game with two mastery camels. And by launch, I mean end of October, we have one for multiplayer. November 16th, when Warzone 2 and DMZ comes out, you have another mastery camel right there. And then maybe deeper into the game's life cycle, get maybe one more mastery camel that could be equipped for both modes or, or unlocked in both modes at the end of the day. Now, what's also really interesting is a couple of months ago, people out there data mine van Vanguard. And I don't know much about data mining. I've never done it myself, but obviously I reported on news every now and again that does mention data mining. Can't show anything spicy on screen for obvious reasons, but the apparent leaked mastery camo names from Modern Warfare 2 are as follows. Damascus, Onyx, Diamond, Sapphire, Ruby, Jade, Platinum, Gold, Silver, Bronze, and Wood. Now, obviously, those could be placeholder names for camels they were working on before. They could have been completely reworked ever since these were data mined, but those could potentially be the names of camels that we end up getting in this game. Now, I would not be surprised if the final camel is called Damascus. That wouldn't shock me at all, but giving us a new version of Damascus that we haven't seen before would be phenomenal. But hearing stuff like Onyx and Sapphire, Ruby, Platinum even, that gets me really excited for the camel variety we are going to get in this game. But as the Legend Espresso pointed out over today on Twitter, it does seem like, and maybe this doesn't apply to every Call of Duty, but most, the mastery camels don't really get worked on or finished until close to the launch of the game, and it's very likely one of the last things the devs actually work on after finishing the other prioritized things such as modes, weapons, characters, maps, features, integrations, so on and so forth. So I do think that because we didn't see any of the mastery camels at COD Next, can't see any of them in the beta right now, it is very likely that they're still working on that and might even be working on it right now as we speak, which would explain why people on local play are seeing references to a camel list in this game's multiplayer. Now also on the topic of camels in Modern Warfare 2, we have a jewels 
Valve's leaked Twitter accounts, who has posted early spicy info for the game in the past, he's claiming the following for gold, it'll have a topology-like pattern. For diamond, it'll be a BO2 diamond mix with black and gold and a tiger pattern, which does sound crazy innovative, and we haven't really seen too many different camos over the past couple of Call of Duty, so I'm happy with how this sounds. And we also have for the mastery camo a mix between MW19 Obsidian and MWR Exclusion Zone with a green and blue glow. So this sounds insane in my opinion. We just mentioned Exclusion Zone earlier in the video. A pretty underrated mastery camo from MW Remastered 2016, of course. I'm really excited for the camo grind that will be in this game, and I'm just hoping that you'll be able to unlock these camos through a variety of different modes. There's so many modes you'll be able to play that I'm sure there'll be certain modes that are considered the meta for certain camo unlocks, whether it's 6v6, Ground War, Invasion, even DMZ, Spec Ops. Really excited for how this grind's gonna look this year. Now, people out there on local play also found references to CDL modes like Domination, Search and Destroy, and even Hardpoint, which might be modes we get to play during weekend two of the beta, although I wouldn't hold my breath on that. It could just be placeholder for what they're getting ready for what is going to be the launch window of the game when the CDL modes do become playable to the general public. And then we also got a premiere from the Call of Duty leak channel earlier, confirming an early start for the competitive season in Modern Warfare 2. So it's worth pointing out that most seasons have started during the February window, but this season for Modern Warfare 2 starts December 2nd, before the new year. They got information there about all the majors coming up, and that's crazy they're going to be doing that. It was rumored that Treyarch's going to be helping out a lot with the ranked and the competitive aspect of Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer, which is interesting. I hope it doesn't take away any dev time from their own future Call of Duty. I'm sure it wouldn't because they got to experiment a lot with the Vanguard experience altogether using the Modern Warfare engine, so they should be able to quickly polish up whatever they have to for Modern Warfare 2's competitive season, if that is even true. Now, we have this awesome tweet from JGod, which I found hilarious. It says, interesting that for the CDL in 2019, the pro players got a traditional mini-map. Pretty sure the same will happen this year with MW2. Based on some comments, guess the pros just play a lower-skilled version of the game. Since people out there have come to a conclusion that if you have red dots in the mini-map, that's a lower-skilled version of the game. <laughs> I do think that's funny to hear about. I know there is a pretty big divide right now on whether or not it's a good change, but I personally don't believe they're going to revert on that change for the general public, but I'm sure the CDL experience will be drastically different from the experience the rest of us have when playing the game's multiplayer. Now, although Crimzix retired, there are a lot of other pros playing their 13th, 12th, 10th, 9th, even 7th seasons of competitive Call of Duty, which is crazy. Here's a list on screen so you can see. Scump, Method, Slasher, Attach, Accuracy, Havoc, lots of crazy folks here that are cracked at the game. They will be playing what could be some of their final seasons of competitive COD. Maybe they'll go a little bit longer. Hopefully Scump at least does. I want to see him get a championship at some point. But there you have it for everything going on right now in Modern Warfare 2 multiplayer. I got another video coming up for you guys tonight and a good double upload tomorrow and the day after that. So, so don't go anywhere. There's a lot still left to talk about when it comes to the future of COD 2.0. But that is about it. This has been DK. Dynamite, leave our thoughts down below in the comment section. What are your thoughts on the mastery camels here in Modern Warfare 2, which are placeholders, but could give us a hint as to what they might be like in the game's full launch. What are your thoughts on the early start to the CDL season and the preload for PC and Xbox? Really hope you've enjoyed and peace out, everybody.